Hello everybody, welcome to Tiny Treasures. This is Carmen. And um, per one of my YouTubers request, um, I said that I was going to make a journal. Now I haven't made it yet, it's, it's in the progress. And she wanted to see how I go about making journals. Um, now I have made two of these uh, Victorian journals one I gifted to my daughter-in-law and then this one I kept so this is a junk journal for the person that asked me um, Lisette I believe is Lisa from um, Proverbs Proverbs home and yeah this is um, this is my my Victorian journal then I'm working on another journal, but it's in progress, but I will show you what I have so far. And I also have a little journal. It's a, like a wallet journal that I always make too. So this is um, my Victorian journal, and this is what I've come up with. I normally don't like to leave these open here with the strings, you know, I mean, what else are you going to add to it? So I always cover it, and this is the back of it. I will show you the. Then when you open it, I have two of these on each side of the journal. Okay, so that I can um, close it afterwards as well. Okay, so inside, it's a Victorian journal, so um, it has a pocket here. And it has a, a tag. I've made this, I don't know how many years ago. And then this here, it's a doily. I made um, one, two, three, four signatures, five signatures, but I only decorated three because um, I was going to um, sell it or gift it to somebody but um, so they can do it. Um, and this here is a little tag. It's got a pocket there. Let's just leave it there. And then this here. And I hope you guys can see this good. Okay, so then this here. Then here's a whole bunch of tags and stuff in there. And here, and then I like these little, um, this is a tag in here as well, and a little envelope, and this here, but this is my favorite one because it has pictures of, you know, all the ladies, and this is um, a tag that I made just to put it in there. This has got to be my favorite in this one here. And these two. Yeah. So, yeah, just make it your own. Cut up what you like and, you know, put it together. And this here. And this is, I like this. This is one of my favorite things that I made too. And the little envelopes as well. Um here there and these two I didn't decorate I just left them so you can add whatever you want to it you know so you can add whatever right and yeah so this is the way this one goes then you tie it here you tie it there like that and that's my Victorian journal now I believe you have one of these, Lisa. Um, my little purse journals that I make. And that's that. I just made this one recently for somebody. So that's why that's in there because I was going to gift that to them. And this here, I haven't put the strap that goes around. So that's that one. Then. Let me put these over here. Let me get these out of the way because I need the space. 
Okay, now the one that I'm currently working on is one of these um, agendas. I don't know if you guys you know how they sell them cheap sometimes. So this this is one of these um, journals, you know, or so anyway, so this there was a picture like this on this one and I covered it because I want it to be like a Victorian um, theme like so this was a wallpaper that I had um, so I put the wallpaper in there cut it to cover it here what I did is you can add and take away from these sheets here so what I did was I I took some of these blank ones and I covered them and just made it like that I put two sheets one on each side and so that way it's blank here I plan to cover this side as well and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but we'll see what happens but so I made in the thick you know so whatever I put I put a cardstock in between each of them because it was paper thin that's what I did okay so I haven't done anything because I've been busy with the miniatures and uh, that is the reason why and, and I'm getting ideas a little bit the ideas are trickling in but not enough for me to start working on it so yeah I plan to cover this and I plan to cover these so and this is one of those you know you could take this out and just whatever so that's the way that looks and then for the cover I was thinking um, this was gifted to me by oh my goodness she's gonna kill me Esther T the name of her channel is Esther T she is a sister in the faith as well as you are um, Lisa and uh, she gifted this to me when I had a, a challenge for my birthday and so I have chosen this piece to be the center of my cover so um, how I'm going to do it, I have no idea because the doll is bigger. So I'm going to have to cut a little piece in the bottom of it to be able to fit it here. But I want to um, center one of these here or two of them. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I like the way this looks for a cover. And then I'm going to work my way around it. And see what else I get but so far this is the only idea that I have and I would like to put her in the center I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this part because then I would have to cut a lot of her off and I don't want to cut her umbrella I'm gonna have to cut like this much of her down here if I was to put her like this on the cover you know but if I have to cut her I have to see because I have more dolls but the thing about it is that um, I have been working on my craft stuff and trying to organize, <laughs> but right now I don't know where I put the rest of them, but I'm going to have to find them. Anyway, guys, this is all that I have for you. Uh, this, was, this was per a request of one of my subscribers, so I am... Um, complying and wanted to show her I didn't forget because she did request for me to show her how I do my journals or you know what I have for journals so um, I've only made actually I made my sister a journal for Mother's Day and uh, I kind of like um, from the Dollar Tree I picked up uh, I picked up this little journal that uh, I worked on and I called it um, Sister Wacky Sisters is what I called it. And my sister truly loved this. She <laughs> she said that when she got when she got it, she, her, she, her eyes got teary. But anyway, so this is all that I have for you. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I hope that this answers your question, um, Lisa. Um, just gather things that you like and put it together. Make it your own you know that's what it's all about having fun anyway you stay blessed and thank you so much for um tuning in to tiny treasures and i want to say i have reached 706 
And I'm so, so happy, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I haven't really worked on my channel because of life's occurrence, you know. And some people, you know, deal with situations in life one way and some deal with it another. And I did share in one of my videos things that were uh, happening in my life, you know. And um, like I said, you know, um, I was listening to, to, I think it was Lisette this morning, her, you know, she was saying, you know, how whatever life situation you got to keep going because we have to, you know, and we draw strength from the Lord because he's the only one that's always there for us. Nobody else, you know, whenever we're down, whenever we're having problems, whatever, they're for us. So therefore, you know, um, yeah, she was giving words of encouragement. And that's the way I see it as well, too, because, you know, the Bible says it, that when your father and your mother leave you, Christ is there always for you to help you in your walk, you know. So anyway, you guys stay blessed, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Any questions, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.